Hello, I'm Yontine Powell and this is Chapel Cottage Studio. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about how to paint glass. I've prepared a surface using acrylic inks, just two colours merging into each other. And on top of this base, we're going to paint our glass. Now because glass is see-through, I've got a little wine glass here and I've set it up against a background. Because glass is see-through, you don't need to paint all the glass. And we're certainly not going to paint outlines to it or it will look very heavy. So I've penciled in my drawing and we're going to go straight in and we're going to draw the light on the glass. So I'm using some acrylic inks. I've got FW white ink, which is the most opaque of all the white inks and it's my favourite. And I'm also using good old Liquitex, which again I absolutely love. This is the yellow orange azo, one of my favourite colours. And this one is the sap green, which is a nice colour as well. These are the two that I've used in the base. Now I'm going to go straight in teeny tiny watercolour brush. A good quality one that doesn't splay at the end, that makes a nice point. And I'm dipping into my white FW ink. Put my glasses on. And I'm going to look at my glass out there and see where the light hits it. And the light hits it around the rim on the top, which I'm going to put in. Little gap by there. Hits it by there. And across and across and across. So I'm putting in where the light hits the glass. Down the side of the glass here, I can actually see a little reflection of me working with a bit of a white wall behind me. So I'm going to put that in. There's a little dot of light by there. And down here, the light is hitting the outside of the glass a bit more. Whoops. So I'm going to paint the white in by there. Dip back in, keep my brush filled up with white. And this goes right around the sides of the glass. And down to the bottom, this light. And it goes around the base of the bowl here. And when it comes down here, it starts to go around the back of the bowl. So I'm just looking where does the light hit the glass? A little bit up the side. Now what's going to happen, get my water a minute, is that as this dries, it's going to become more see-through. And I'm going to blend the, that edge in with a little bit of water because that's a soft edge to that shine. So I'm going to give mine a soft edge and allow that to just disappear away into the glass. There we are. Now back into the white. And I can see some hits of light around the back here. Going to put them in a little bit that goes up the side of the glass. I can see a little line up there and a dot. And again, I can see some reflections coming down there. So I'm going to put them in some lit reflections coming around the side of the glass. I can see a bit of light there again that travels a little bit, not all the way up, but a little bit way up the side of the glass. Wet my brush again and allow them to dissolve so that we've got a half light going through the glass. Moving on up, I can see a very strong light by there. I think it's actually the reflection of the camera, but that's okay. Whatever you can see, you put in. And another light next to it. When I go round the back, I can see that there's brighter light by there. Oh, and there's a really, really nice light that goes right down through. Two lines. But they're softer. I don't want them through there. They're softer, so I'm going to water them out a little. And I think they come out just a little bit further than that. And they're going to disappear into the base there. You can already see that this is looking very see-through and very lit, this glass. I'm going to just strengthen up where the really light parts are. One by there. 
going to put another layer on it because it's extra white. Some around here because they're extra light. Now I'm going to work my way down here into the base of the glass. And there's little flecks of light going through the centre here. And I can see one by there and one by there. And I can see a little bit of a half light going around that side. So I'm going to dilute it and get that half light in. Moving around to the base, I can see a light around there. Two little reflections in there that I'm going to put in. Real bit of light on the back of it there. And coming around the side. And if I come around this side, there's a faint line back there. And a real sharp light at the front. And in here, I can see quite a lot going on. Quite a lot of reflections going on around the base of the glass. So I'm going to pop them in. There's a couple by there. And it's just drawing what you see. There's nothing else to it. Where I can see a half light, I'm going to dilute it. Maybe make a little bit in my palette that's a little, more, a little bit more diluted. Half light round there. Be very careful. It's ever so tempting to put a half light everywhere because you really want to describe it. But make sure you only put it where you can see it. A half light around this side. Round, whoops. My glass went a funny shape there. Round the edge of the glass. And having put all the lights in, I'm going back to my background colour, my green, mixed with a bit of yellow. And I'm going to find the darkest bits of the glass. And I can see a teeny dark stripe going around there. There's some definite dark in the base of the bowl here. That I'm going to put in. And I can see, oh, there's a real dark stripe going around there. And there's a dark stripe going around here, which I'm going to paint in. And a little bit, I can even see just a hint of the other side. I can see another dark line going around there. And a little bit of dark on the base, which I'm going to dilute down a little bit. Do it quickly because these acrylic inks don't take any prisoners once you've got your colour on there. Unless you get water around it really quickly you'll get a line around it which we don't want. So I can see a little bit of darker on the base. Fetch some of that out just a little bit. Teeny tiny bit of darker. Oh I don't want to do too much. I can see a little bit in there. And let's put a, oh, hang on, I'm not finished, thought I had. Put another line round there. Add a bit of a line under there. And then I'm just going to add the shadow underneath it. Really skinny line underneath it. And I'm going to just water a little bit of the shadow that I can see on the cloth. Just with water. It's going off over there somewhere and then I'm going to put some of this into the water and let that shadow disappear off over there. So we've got shadow on the table and the shadow is disappearing off into the distance. I'll use a slightly bigger brush to get a little bit more water on that. to let this shadow move over a bit because your object is much more believable when it has a shadow there we are and it's as simple as that little piece of glass so the glass is see-through all you need to add is the lights and a hint of the darkest spots and you'll get glass Thank you very much.